Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Analysis with Dr. Veronica. In this video, we will look at the switch function in Microsoft Excel. Let me know in the comment section if you knew about this function called switch. In this video, we will see how to use the switch function. We will understand what the switch function is, and then we will compare the switch function with the nested if function. If this is the first time I'm dropping by my YouTube channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and welcome. Thank you for also sharing this video with your friends and your colleagues. The switch function evaluates one value against a list of values and returns the result that is corresponding to the first matching value. This function used to only exist in the VBA, but now it is available in Excel 3 Excel 2019, 2016, Excel mobile and Excel online versions. Think of the switch function as a more efficient way of doing nested ifs, at least in my own opinion. If you are one of those who finds it a challenge to nest if functions, then you should try the switch function. This is a very exciting function for me. And I think it provides a very smooth alternative to nested if. So what the switch function does basically is that the, the switch function argument requests for a value that you need to evaluate and then the value to match versus the value returned when the match is exact. For all that has been said, theoretically, we are going to see how to use the switch function using examples, very relatable examples. So in this example number one, we see the names of hotels, and these are fictitious hotels, by the way. Like you can see, they are names of flowers. So all these are fictitious hotels. And the star rating is also fictitious. So in this example, we will see the difference between nesting if and using the switch function. And then you can decide which is more smooth or which is better for you to use depending on what you prefer. So in this part that is highlighted in blue, I'm going to nest, use nested if to get the performance rating for each of these hotels using their star rating. And then we have a small table right here, which tells us what each of these star numbers represent. So for a hotel with a star rating of one, it's a basic um, performance. For hotel with a star rating of two, it's a fair performance. Three, four, five, just like you have seen right here. If I want to use a function to determine what the performance rating is for each of the hotels based on the star rating, I can use nested if to get this information. And let us see how this works. So you put the equal to sign and you put the if, you open the bracket. The if function is a logical test that tells you what value to provide if the logical test is true and what value to provide if the logical test is false. And by the way, I have very extensive videos on if function alone, nested if, and there is a new function in Excel 365 and Excel 2019, I think, which is the ifs function ifs so which is like the multiple ifs the link to those videos is in the description box so please do well to check the video and see for yourself how best you can use the if function to achieve optimality in microsoft excel so if this value is equal to one, what should be the value if true? It should be, should give me basic. So I want to go to the next logical test. If this value is equal to two, I need a fair. If this value here, if the star rating is equal to three, I need it to provide me good as performance rating. So I'm just going to do this again. If this is equal to two, then you give me fair. If, I did not put the if here. So if this is equal to three, then you give me good. If 
this is equal to 4, then you give me very good. If again, this is equal to 5, then you give me excellent. If it's false, just give me an empty cell. And I'm going to have to close all the brackets and hit the enter button on my keyboard. I will drag this down and this is a solution that I have. With the nested if, I can get the performance rating for all these hotels given that I have the star rating. And let us see how the switch function works in this example. And then you can judge for yourself which is going to be easier for you. And you can also feel free to drop what you think in the comment section. The difference between using nested if and using the switch function. So I put the equal to sign and type switch, open the bracket, the expression that here says expression. So I'm choosing um, the star rating as the expression that I am looking for, just like um, it was applicable in the um, nested if example. So the value one here is I'm looking for this, but if the value is a one, then the result should be basic. If the value is a two, then the result should be fair. I put the comma. If the value is a three, then the result should be good. If the value is a four, then the result should be very good. If the value is a five, then the result should be excellent. But if there is um, none of these options, then I need an empty cell. What value should you update if there is an alternative argument? And I'm going to fix all of this because I don't want the I don't want it to change position by the time I drag. So here you go. The switch function, you just have to choose your expression and for every, for every value that you choose here, you need to choose the results that you want to see. So this is how the switch function works. Now you can judge by yourself against the nested if and see which one is easy for you and more straightforward. The idea about Microsoft Excel is to know as make as many functions as you can so that you can always use any of the function that is more suitable for you and that you are more comfortable with at the same time that will provide you with the least error. So let us try another example. In example two right here, which I'm going to zoom, here you have the names of staff in a certain company, a certain fictitious company, and there are five business units in this company. For the staff, these are the staff that works in these different business units, and these are their salaries. At the end of the year, based on the performances for the different business units, it has been agreed by management that there will be some bonus that will be paid to the staff and the bonus rates will be based on their basic salaries. So these are the bonus rates that has been assigned to each of the business units based on the performances of the different business units at the end of the year. So here in this example, we want to use the switch function to determine what the staff bonuses should be and what their new salary should be based on the bonus that has been given to them. We use the switch function to determine this. We can also use XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP to determine these bonuses and there is a, an extensive video on this kind of scenario where you use the x lookup to determine what the staff bonuses are but in this case we will use the switch function and we will see how easy it is to use the switch function so i press the equal to button on my keyboard i open the bracket the expression that I am looking for is the business unit, which I have selected right here. And the value one that I want to match together with the result is right here. So I am using the business unit to match against the bonus rates because the bonus rate is based on the business unit. So I choose here, ranching, and the next, the result is this. So for every time Excel is looking at the business unit here, it is comparing the bonus rate against the business unit to see and to ensure that the correct bonus is selected for the business unit for each of the staff. And the next one will be 
the value two and the result two. The next one is the bread, the result here. The next one is this and the next is this. So I'm going to put empty if none of these options apply. And of course, I am going to fix the position of the cells so that it doesn't move when I drag them. So these are the bonuses according to the business unit. So if I just want to quickly do a filter and check for ranching, ranching is just one staff who is in that business unit. I check for bread. So we can see that all the staff on, in the bread business unit have the same bonus. So the switch function is correct. In my example, you can see that I'm using cell references so that every time there is a change in any of these um, values, you have an automatic change in your outcomes. You do not need to bother about going inside the formula to do the changes. So these are just the stuff bonus rates. These are not the bonuses. To get what the bonus is exactly, we need to multiply this by the staff basic salary, which is what I have done here. So I will drag this down to see what the bonuses are. And to get what the new salary is, we just add the staff basic salary to the bonus. And here we have the new salaries. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the switch function for me, I find it really interesting and I find it less cumbersome compared to the nested if where you have to keep adding more if function to what you already have. But this for me is pretty much straightforward. But let me know what you think in the comment section and see you in another video.